We have a van. We have a van. We bought a van, can you believe it? Alrighty. What you doing? Putting in six sheets of rigid insulation with the Reflectex already on it. And it's going in. Awesome. That's the insulation for all the walls. All the walls, the floor, and the ceiling. Very cool. These are rolls of Reflectex material for the spaces that this does not cover. Because where we live, you have to worry about heat. Yes. And a metal box will get very hot. This is the mounting tape we're going to use, and then the tape to cover any gaps that we can't fill. Awesome. All right, let's go get to work. We have a van. We have a van. Yee-hoo! What you doing today? Just, I'm just putting some insulation in and sending a picture. So we're just starting to insulate like this. And we have the ceiling to do and around the wheel wells to do uh, with the rigid board insulation. We're probably 90 something today and we're going to be very thorough of insulating the ceiling. We don't know how much we're going to insulate the floor yet. Um, we have a few designs of the finished floor and our walls. Like I said, we're not going to be anywhere below zero. I mean, if it's cold, we'll run a heater in here. We just mostly want it to stay as cool as possible um, for air conditioning in there. So, probably finish up this part in the evening. Yeah. But it's been good. We still need to do the door and that pocket above the door with the rigid stuff also. And the ceiling. Did you already see that part? Yeah. Yeah, we got to do the complete ceiling, but... So far, so good. Yeah, yeah. It's been a good day. Very good day. All right, we've got our first guy asking about what we're doing, coming to check out our van. We just, we just had it delivered last night. Go ahead, go on in. Yeah, you can stand up in it. Great job. And so these Thank you. All the way around. Yeah. And get out of the way, too. Oh, my God. We're going to do a rack system. I bought a solar system for the roof. Oh, cool. And stuff like so that. So you sound pretty handy. Like I'm faking my wife out, that's what she <laughs> <laughs> Tell him the story. When I first met, we've been together 10 years, uh -huh. and within the first week of dating her, I went to buy, it had like 150,000 miles on it with an Astro van. To right. convert. Astro van. I said, I'm yanking this the next, apart. The next best thing. Right. Yeah, yeah. I said, I'm yanking this apart and we're going camping. Yeah. Well, this is what happened 10 years later. <laughs> This is the upgrade. She yeah. Went, a little lobbying. Yeah, a little lobbying. <laughs> yeah. It only took me 10 years. More dependable. Well, this even comes if you know Brimbo brand. Brimbo brand brakes. They're yes. the number one brake. This, oh, my God. This comes with two caliper Brimbo so, brakes on it, too. Oh so, yeah. That's racing quality. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, well, it this stops. Has, think, Looking for nice. anything Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, or Ram, you should go up to Norco to Browning. Browning? We've never had an experience as good as our experience with them really? in all departments. They were incredible. Oh, yeah. Jerome, okay, my name's uh, Jerome Roberts, currently living in uh, Sun City. Awesome. California. We're glad uh, to meet you. I've been a 15-year uh, Vanagon owner, and I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. you. Have a good Have day. Have a good July. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the, you know, yeah, see, I mean, look, you got the crash protection. Too. Exactly. I mean, if I'm in a crash, and I'm dead. Right. Yeah, that's another reason we got this over the Mercedes Sprinter and stuff like that, because if you break that, that just comes off. If you break this, it just comes and it replaces it. So well, that you high. can service everything. Here. Yeah. Tomorrow is the Andressa. All right, so this is our first test of the inverter I just bought. And I've had this TV running for a while off my little battery. This is a 750 uh, watt sine wave inverter. 
and um, it just now I heard the fan come on in it to keep it cool. So I don't know. I only have a 35 amp battery. I don't know how many amps the uh, inverter draws by itself. And I don't know how many watts converted to amps the TV is using. But it has a red light overload or something, so I'm sure we're fine. I'm just sure we're killing the battery. Yeah. But like we said, we got the more powerful um, alternator in the van, which will charge our batteries and stuff. And we have the solar. We're going to buy another battery. It's all good. Yeah. That's all we really needed AC for, to run a TV. Yeah. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> See ya. Living that low top Mercedes Sprinter van life, I see. Because oh, yeah. we're living the van life too. Yes, we are. Hope everyone's having a great day. Yep. Back to working on our van. Woohoo!